Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you more than 40 activities that you can teach your three-year-old or how to entertain your toddler. So I made a video about uh, how to entertain your three-year-old as well on the first part for my previous video so i'm gonna put the link below it has more than 6,000 views so make sure you check them out if you run out of ideas how to entertain your toddlers so in this video i'm gonna show you how to entertain your toddlers indoors so they will not get bored during this covid 19 lockdown it's really hard to go outside and it's really limited where we can go as well the library is closed the community center is closed swimming pool is closed especially the outdoor play are closed as well so we need to get creative how to entertain our toddlers especially they are really active so I hopefully after I compile all these activities it will help other parents to stay sane during this COVID-19 lockdown so I hope you like this video and if you do make sure you like and subscribe and make sure to check out my previous video because I have more than 30 activities on that video as well so without further ado let's begin So for this one, I just made some ice cubes last night. I uh, provide like two big mixing bowls. I just asked him to use like small tongs to move the ice to the other bowl. But he can use his hand, he can use like a small ladder or something. He can also put like small toys inside the ice cube when you put it on the freezer. So he improvised it a little bit. So he got this one and then his trucks and then just put the ice everywhere so I don't really recommend to color the ice I think because it fell on the table and the floor but he loves it he played for a long time and he improvised to use hand, plastic to cover his hands so I thought oh why not uh, ask him to use his mittens instead so yeah he he, he likes it do you like it Brandon? So you can make a big ice as well and you can use like a pretend uh, hammer and like goggles for him to crack it. So far he enjoy it. Do you like it? Yes. So for the next activity is to use the glow stick. So you can always just play it like this or you can put it on the bathtub. Uh, so I saw like some other people like put it on the bathtub. So I give uh, Brandon too, the yellow and the the one he can play like uh, the glow sticks as a glow stick like long or he can make like a bracelet and so far he loves it I like glue stick mommy and I can go in dark and I can use my glow stick I see so yeah so beside the glow uh, bath, and so you put the glow sticks on the bathtub, you can also have like a dance party. And also I sometimes use this to bribe him to brush his teeth and ask him to go pee before his bedtime. And he loves that one. So I think it's really worth it to buy it at the large store. Cheese! I want glow stick! What color do you like? Blue! So for the next one, I use glow stick when he's taking a bath and he loves it. I just turn off the lights on the bathroom and open the door so it's not too dark but it's not too bright as well. And I just give him like two glow stick every time and he loves that. So so the bath time will not get bored because you keep changing all the stuff that can, you can use during the bath time. For the next one is blocks bath so I just use a lot of blocks that I got from dollar store I think it's only three bucks for the whole bucket and I just pour everything out on the bathtub so he can make like blocks and like a tower and stuff using the blocks while he's taking a bath so it's like sensory play for him while he's taking a bath as well so it's like two activities at the same time so for the next one uh, I will put uh, number 0 to 12 in uh, like a post-it I'm gonna put it all around my house and if he can get all the numbers and then he can get something later on I'm gonna try to do it in English and in Bahasa as well and you can also do it in like the letters can you find dua tiga tiga delapan so I put all the markers everywhere so I asked him to find the colors and you can use like English or your mother tongue language and I, right now I'm teaching him like our mother tongue language which is Bahasa Tari kuning kecil 
Yellow, small yellow, kuning kecil. Well, give me. And then give it to mommy. Thank you. Chocolate, 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 chocolate besar, big cho, big brown, brown. Find your name, no. Brandon. Good job. Can you find Daddy? Good job. Can you find Mommy? Oh, good job. And another thing that you can do is you can build a fort using like a bed sheets, like big uh, bed sheets or blankie. But I find that bed sheets better because it's not too heavy. I just put it on my bar stools and his high chairs. And he loves this one. I usually make the fort like every two days. And he will pretend that that is his house or the police house or police stations. And then inside, uh, I usually sometimes can put like a lantern as well. And we can read a book or something inside. Hi, Brandon. <laughs> So we're gonna have our Zoom call soon. So every Monday we will have like a Zoom call with his church friend and every Wednesday with his school friends and every Thursday there's a story time as well. So we try to join it as much as possible so like he can do craft together with his friends and also like listen to story time and dancing together. So there's another activity that you can do. Find a community whether it's at school, from your church or something for your kid. One, two, three, four, five. And then? Ready? I come. Come on, hide, yeah. Do you want to hide or seek? Hide. So, can you tell mommy what shape is the stop sign? I'll take it. Can you tell mommy there how many people inside? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. So, I just want to mention again that it's really important to ro rotate no, no, no. your toes. So he has this for about two years, I think, and he got bored with it. So I just throw it on my uh, cabinet again, and then uh, he's pretty excited again to see it. And I really love this Melissa and Duck school bus. It looks really simple, but somehow he likes it because it, it is a school bus, and it's really durable as well. So it has like about seven people inside, and it has the teachers and the girl and the boys, so you can teach your kids about the teacher's name and also like the his class uh, your daughter or your son classmates and ask them ask them whether they remember their classmates names and there's also like a door that can be open um, yeah it looks really simple but somehow he likes it and you can also teach them like colors and like the shapes and uh, you just have to be creative uh, from it so he's not bored to learn colors from the book only but he can also learn like colors numbers shapes and like other languages in like different kind of situations and yeah so he basically can do a pretend play with this one and while he's learning as well do you like this the cool bus yes can you can see from there window oh, good, yeah. oh there's the windows yeah so you can teach about the windows the doors and also like um the shapes as well and colors and wheels and stuff mm -hmm. so the next activity that they can do is this water bits i got this from amazon but you can also get it from dollar store or aliexpress and i'm just waiting until it's getting bigger and bigger it comes with a small pack and then one pack is like about 200 water bits and then you just put water and then it will get bigger in about four hours or about 18 hours so it's gonna look like this later on and then you can ask your toddler or pre preschooler to scoop the water bits and put it on the other container and Brandon's gonna love this so the water bits looks like this when it comes from the package and it has so many colors like the rainbow one is uh, Brandon's favorite and they have red one, yellow one, black one, this one just make sure that your toddler or preschooler is above 3 
because you don't want them to eat the water bits so this is what it looks like after eight hours so i'm just gonna leave it overnight so brandon can play with it tomorrow the other one that i want to show you is this uh giant aqua magic mat that i got from amazon so i got the one from jason wells so it's really big and you can also get it from aliexpress the price is pretty similar though so i i thought i'm just gonna get it from amazon because it's just faster and then what i like about this one it has all the alphabets on the sides it has seven colors in the middle so when it dries it will get white again and you just use water to color it and also the kids can learn how to trace the ladder like the capital ladders and small ladder as well and it also comes with a case and it has like four markers and this one and a lot of like stamps and this so you can put it on the floor or you can attach it to your window and it also comes with the tracing ruler so it has the shape one the number one and all kind of shapes here and there's a drawing booklet as well teach you how to draw from zero to this one yes Abba. yeah tempo windows i am so yeah you can put this on the window yes tempo windows i am and it also come with a lot of like stamps like for for example this one is like the b one they have the dolphin one this one is just that something that i can play with him and teach him like ladder shape and stuff like that so it's more about learning so for brandon he cannot play by himself for this one because he will get bored easily but uh it depends on the kids so if your kids like to do craft and they can they like to draw or color maybe they can do it together but but for brandon i need to do it with him but again this is just like a tool that i can use to teach him uh, something new every day to draw like to color and learn about ladder and stuff so this one is just like no mat so you, you just need to wait until the mat is dry you don't need to clean up anything and it looks like this or you can also like do a tracing like this then or like draw and then the color it has different colors here Brandon has been obsessing with robot transformer right now every kind of robot like rescue bots or transformer so I got this one from Walmart and I actually ordered something from AliExpress but they haven't arrived and he has been holding this for two days straight already and Optimus Prime Optimus Prime, can you show mommy how to transform to trailer please? So yeah, it's actually not that easy because he's only three but this one is for six plus but somehow he can do it right away on the first day and yeah he's been playing this for two days so he's actually like the robot compared to this one again this one is just like for learning wow good job and then transform again to robot rescue bot go to the parking spot yes so you can also use like painter's tape on your floor because it's painter's tape it will not damage your floor you can make a big one for like a bigger truck and like a small parking spot for like smaller cars somehow he's obsessed with parking spots when we go to like a parking spot uh, beside our house he also like to like pretend himself like as a car and go back and forth on the parking spot so i had an idea because i saw it on pinterest like someone use it painter's tape uh, to line up the cars but instead of using that to line up the cars he loves this one as um he loves this one better as a parking spot so that's another idea just in case you run out of idea what to do and i did this before it, i i pull it off and it doesn't damage my uh mat or like my carpet so right now i'm just letting him to cut like the paper i used the the small scissors and this one because i just talked to the teacher uh, on a conference call and the teacher said he actually know how to use scissors already i didn't know about that one he can cut like a straight line and like a fringe so i let him to cut like different kind of paper like the thin one thick one and like different color of paper as well so he loves that 
and of course if you have a backyard you can ask them to join with gardening as well but for us we don't have a backyard so we just grow this grow uh, green onions and we harvest it so many times already and we just add more and it's really nice so we don't have to go back and forth to the supermarket to get a new green onion when we cook it's really easy you can just put a little bit of uh, the green onion and then they will put a little bit of water and you don't need to change the water like every day only three to four days and they will grow taller and taller and taller it's open. no it's open let me close it open blanket go inside Hi. So he likes to pretend that this is his house. So I just use three sofa cushions and use a blankie or throw blanket as the roof. And we can open the door here and close the door. And there he is. Hi. <laughs> Somehow he likes it one. He likes the fort and this one. So it doesn't cost any extra money and he's having fun. <laughs> Are you hiding? Are you hiding? Yeah. Is this your house? Uh, yeah. uh. And we're just gonna learn about uh, alphabets and letters. Can you open the first page, baby? So this one is a tracing, so but today we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna learn the capital letters A, B, C and and the small letters and the number. He can uh he can do the number pretty good already for English but we're gonna do it in Bahasa C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, N, A, L, O, O P P Q, R, S, U, V W, X, Y, N, Z Good job! One, two, sing with me Now you know my A B C. Next time, sing with me again. Get it? Yeah, good job. Eh? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. So for this one, I'm just setting up like a pouring station. So I saw this on I the Pinterest. Okay, you can do that. Okay, so basically he just need to pour it. Of course, I don't want to put, uh, play this on the carpet. So just play at the bathtub. Can I just put like food me? coloring. Can so I just put like a measuring cup, like a bowl and this thing and that one and then big box. And I also have this as well and so far he likes it. So it's like something new. I don't want he got bored so I need to think of something like change it a little bit even though like the concept is the same. Right now it's time to do his Montessori work. So we're just playing with the sensory play and he need to scoop it to move it to the other bowl. So I have this one, I have stone, I have rocks and bits so he can change it up a bit. So this one is just buttons that I got from the dollar store. I also have this one bits, the rocks. So I have the rocks, magnet, eraser as well. So he likes this kind of stuff for sensory play. And somehow he likes it when I put it in a tray because uh, at school I think they put all the works on the tray. And he also likes to play with my magnets. So the precious ones, I just put it on top here. Uh, the one that I got from different countries and is my precious. So I put it on top. I put the other one on this side as well. So it's pretty safe. But the one at the bottom, he can play with. Basically, he can play with this one because he cannot damage it. And he can also play with this one. He got it from his no. birthday before. And he also can put like this ladder number and he loves this one as well and the robot one So he's just putting more magnets there I'm putting more magnets on green one Okay, so yeah, he seemed pretty happy. Are you do you like it? Yes. 
So for the next activity, I just use toilet paper and paper towel rolls and but I don't have enough so I use like the old cardboard as well. So I just put a four rows of uh, paper towel rolls and toilet paper and then I just put four cups at the bottom and he's so happy so he really thinks that it's like cannonball. Wow. So he just playing with his car and pretend that that is the tunnel even though it's so ugly he played it for it he played for it for a long time already so sometimes it's kind of surprising so they have a lot of toys but they just want to have something new even though I just made this really quickly he loves it. Next, you can also do a baking or cooking together with your toddler, whether they want to help or whether or not. It really depends on the mood, but sometimes they can help with mixing, like scooping and pouring as well. For the next one, he can also draw and trace on the paper that I got from Dollar Store. Basically, it's black, but when you trace it uh, with like a, some sort of cut pencil, it will show like a rainbow color. So Brandon loved this one. But again, you have to sit with them and to play with them and interact with them. So I will teach him how to use the rulers and how to make circle, like square, like all kind of shapes. And he loved this one, but it's kind of messy a little bit, but you can always clean it up later on. And uh, he can learn something new while he's playing as well and this is one of the gifts that I got for him for his Easter basket so if you haven't checked out my previous video I made a video about what I put on Brandon's Easter basket and mostly I got it from the dollar store uh, at the Dollarama so make sure you check them out Next will be coloring and you can buy a lot of like coloring book at dollar store from the big one to the small one and depends on the theme as well whether it's Christmas, Halloween or like Easter like this and they can learn about the traditions while they're playing and coloring. Doing a good job. Wow, it's an Easter egg. Good job. Did you hide the egg? Not yet. So I have filled up this uh, eggs with a chocolate egg and this one with a small toys and like an Easter, um, Easter erasers. So I'm just gonna hide this all around the house and we're gonna fight it together with Brandon. So Brandon loves this activity and because it's a plastic egg, you can always do it even though it's not Easter so you can reuse it and reuse it again. So he is really excited when he can find the eggs um, when I hide it like behind the pillow or something. I find more. I find more. I find more. <laughs> So these are all the eggs that I hide. So it has the pastel colors, it has the emoji one, and uh, his favorite I think is the golden one. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, thank you. Wow, that looks so delicious. So this one is just really simple. So you can just prepare like two mixing bowl or two big bowl and one ladder. And I just used this uh, erasers that I got for the Easter. And somehow he made this by himself. So he pretend to cook like congee, rice, and soup with this. And yeah, just give him like big spoon, big ladles, and like small spoons. So he can pretend he smells. He smells the food, go to food, pretends that it's hot or it's cold, and yeah. And he can also like pretend to bake it, and he will use one space as the oven, one space as the fridge, so he can play and he can learn at the same time. So he likes to pretend that these are the cupcakes that he bake. He pretend that below the table is just like an oven and he will put the cupcakes here and when the oven is broken he can also pretend that the oven is broken and he will fix it with the tools so right now we're just playing with the watercolor that we used for easter egg yesterday and we have the purple one here green one red one and blue one so basically he can put each color on one cup and if he want to combine uh, some color he can use other cups and so far he like it and right now i'm just using like a big garbage uh, back to cover the table otherwise somehow it can sometimes it can stain your table um, yeah so so far he likes it so I tried it before with one color he loves it as well and but I think he got bored already so that's why I try to use like different color now
but I need to warn you though like uh, this will be like so messy so just uh, put them on like the old clothes or something and then just put like a uh, plates big plates at the bottom so it will not be that messy see it, when he, he pour it it's like will be so messy on the plate and he's just like doing this back and forth back and forth combining all the water so you can put him inside the big shower as well and he can play with the water current so you can also put him on the swimsuit and shoot the shower door and he's been playing this for almost one hour now so he seems to be pretty happy and every morning I also let him to watch Monica J. Sutton YouTube channel so it's like online soccer time on the YouTube and he can learn about number of the week, shape of the week, the weather, what day is it and what else like uh, number of the week, the later, ladder of the week and words of the week as well so and there's a dancing and tracing time as well so after Miss Monica circle time I usually uh, have a dancing and exercise together with Brandon so these are some of the favorite songs of him so it's just like the trolls uh, soundtrack and also like the dance and freeze song and also uh, I like to suggest that I do the lessons in the morning first and then like the dancing and exercise and later on you can uh, play together but like in the morning it's really easier so much easier to teach him something because they are really fresh from their sleep uh, when they are uh, in the morning they can concentrate more so I usually teach him about letters numbers tracings and also Montessori work in the morning and I also like to read for Brandon as well because he already uh, he doesn't take nap anymore so sometimes I need like a quiet time half an hour or one hour so we will read together uh, on the bedroom sometimes if he's really tired he will take a nap but usually that rarely happens and yeah I like to read him as much as possible and adding his vocabulary so you will need vinegar and an old cotton box and then um, uh, parchment paper so it will not stain this one and then uh, whatever glass that you need to like put the coloring water and this one we have the neon what put coloring we have the green one blue one pink one and the orange one do coloring together as well actually coloring is not Brandon's favorite but it really depends so he doesn't really like to use pencil uh, or markers he like to use like a brush and water paint somehow but I still need to teach him to use the markers and pencil so he can learn how to hold it a lot of like three-year-old like this one as well like uh, to trace the pictures based on a number but somehow Brandon is not really interested with this one but I still want to teach him like once in a while so he can know how to draw based on a number but I know a lot of like three-year-old uh, really love this one what is this? L, tree branches, B, flower, mushroom good job butterfly good job Grasshopper Cat Mouse Good job In Bahasa Satu Satu Dua Dua Tiga Em Pat Li Ma E Nam E Nam Tu Tuju Tuju Delapan Delapan Sembi Sembi Lan Sembi Lan yeah, good job. Yang mana penggaris? That one. Good job. Uh, kuas. That. Speedo. That. 
Good job. Pencil. Da. Kerikan. Da. Lem. Da. Oke. Okay. Apa ini namanya? Glue. <laughs> Inggrisnya glue. Indonesianya? Bahasanya? Lem. Namanya apa? Kerikan. Good job. Ini namanya apa? Pencil. Bener. Coba bilang spidol. Spidol. Hitam mana? Good job. Ah, coklat. Ungu mana ungu? There. Yes. Can you count the big marker? Ada how many? One. One okay. Two. Okay. Three. Okay. Four. Five. Okay. Good job. In bahasa. Satu. Satu. Dua. Dua. Tiga. Tiga. Empat. Empat. Lima. It's almost filling. Lima. Lima. 